Hello. In this video, we're going to go over the Linux diff command. The diff command allows you to easily compare the differences between files. This is great if you are a manual tester or you're a Linux admin, pretty much anything where you need to compare a before and after, like, you know, maybe some code changes happened in a, um, you know, developers branch or something, and you're, you're testing a download of a CSV file. Well, you can compare the before CSV file and then the after CSV file. It doesn't have to be CSV files. It can be any files whatsoever. It can be programming files. Um, it can be anything. So let's just jump right in to how, how we do this. It's very simple. I've got two files here. I've got file one and file two. So you, let's, let's cat those out so you can see the differences or you won't be able to see the difference, but you can see I have one file here with this data and then here. And imagine this is like each of these files have 10,000 lines or, or something. And we're trying to see if there's any differences between the two. So easy way to do that. We can literally just do, and there's a couple different ways to do this. I'm going to show you multiple different ways. So we got diff file one and then file two. We just diff that and it shows us some output here. This output is not the, the most reader friendly, how it is here. Uh, but you can kind of see that there's a difference, difference here between, uh, Sam 22 teacher here in this file and then Sam 22 intern. And then, um, you know, Jim is in one, Jim's not another, but that's kind of difficult to read, but at least with that, you can see that there is some kind of differences. Another flag you can set is the dash U and that will kind of give you a diff, um, kind of like when you use version control, uh, but you can see how this, these are the, the minuses here are from file one. And then the pluses here are from file two. So you can see that in file two, Sam 22 teacher is different than Sam 22 intern. And then Bob here is different than Bob here. So that's a little bit more reader friendly. Let's go a little bit further and we can do, make it even better. And we can do, we can do dash dash side by side. And that kind of gives us a nice side by side view. So this is the left side here is file one and the right side here is file two. So you can see how it kind of has a line, line like a row here showing you what's different. And then, and then here as well. And then you can see Jim is line is here on the file one, but it's not in the file two. All right. We can take this one step further. And this is probably what you want to use most of the time, but you can do suppress, uh, common, common lines. And what this will do is we'll only show the difference lines. So imagine you have a very large file. It could, this could be showing all kinds of data, which we don't want. But here we can just exclude all of that. So now when we run it, you can see now it only displays the, uh, the data that has changed and, that, and that's really helpful. So that's the gist of it. You can also do it with directories as well. I've got a foo bar directory, you know, you can do essentially the same thing. Diff foo bar and I've changed these slightly you can see bob is 35 here but bob is 25 here um you can do dash u you have all the flags available if you had nested directories in here you can do um dash r for recursive so you can recursively search through all these directories if there were <coughs> if there were no differences you would see no output so let's just let's get this file so that so there's no differences uh So now if we just do diff file one, file two, we don't see any differences because the files are the same now, which is nice. So perfect. So that's just a diff command. It's kind of quick and simple, uh, but it can definitely help you out if you're trying to test things or just do any kind of file comparisons. It doesn't have to be CSV. It can be any type of file. Um, but yeah, make sure to like, and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.